you say, who cares about honeybees? They sting you. And, you know, if you don't have them, you're better off. Well, the answer is no. If we don't have a pollination of fruits and flowers and vegetables, we are in a serious uh, problem with our agriculture. And now we understand all over the world, millions of honeybees are mysteriously disappearing without a trace. So where have they gone? Even scientists haven't solved the mystery. And as Mark Martin reports, this could mean big changes in all of our diet. You're looking at a bustling, busy colony of bees. When a hive is thriving, it has around 60,000 buzzing about, and honey is in abundant supply. I hope you'd like to have a sample of that. Okay. Mmm, it's delicious. But lately, beekeepers have had to count their losses. Overnight, almost, there's a vacant. There's no, I don't know what happened to the bees, they're just gone. And you think it's because of CCD? I think it's because of CCD. CCD stands for Colony Collapse Disorder. It's the name researchers have given to the recent die-off of honeybee colonies. CCD has killed millions of bees worldwide and around half of the 2.5 million colonies in the United States. And at one time, this was a vibrant colony here. I mean, this thing was filled with bees. That's correct. That's Warren Seaver is the president of the Delaware Beekeepers Association. His hives have definitely taken a hit. It was very disheartening, to say the least, to lose this many hives. Last fall, Warren had around 250 colonies. CCD took out half of them. And for someone whose primary source of income is the honeybee, that was not welcome news. But Warren says CCD doesn't just hurt bees and their keepers. His bees alone pollinate around 4,000 acres in Delaware. The self-proclaimed bee man, the name on his license plate, hauls the hives on trailers to fields like this one where cucumbers are grown. This is very serious. And you know, one third of our, uh, what we eat depends on the uh, honeybee and other pollinators for pollination. We take away the pollinator, or in this case, uh, put some additional stresses on them, more, more of them dying, then we don't have the quantity, the quality of food that we need, that we want. Take away honeybee pollination, and our diet drastically changes. Much less colorful, more expensive. Do we want to uh, become a country that becomes dependent upon foreign sources for the foods that we eat? Do we want to become dependent upon a single type of uh, grain for our diets? Dr. Dewey Karen is an entomologist at the University of Delaware. The university has lost 11 of its 12 colonies to CCD. Dr. Karen is part of the CCD Working Group, a nationwide task force looking into the problem. He's worked with bees for 40 years and has never seen anything like this before. Here's another example of a colony devastated by CCD. You can see there are hardly any bees on this frame. What's causing all this? What is causing the bees to vanish? That remains a mystery. It's tough to hone in on a cause and subsequently a cure when there's a lack of evidence to analyze. You can't even find the bodies, can you? No, nothing. Nothing, and no, nothing out in front of the hives. Nothing. It's gone. Uh, but the older bees, the bees that uh, should be uh, taking care of the, the young off foraging, they're just simply not present. Dr. Karen and other researchers are forced to become detectives, looking at three primary areas for possible causes of CCD. Pathogens or viruses, stress from the environment, and certain pesticides. These things cause disorientation, cause loss of short-term memory. Perhaps the bees are going out, they're being exposed to some of these types of chemicals, and then simply not having enough memory to get back to their home dying because they they starve they run out of food some have suggested cell phone interference may be confusing honeybees as well but dr karen does not believe cell phones and their electromagnetic emissions are to blame certainly the cell phone connection was based on, on bogus science and was a misinterpretation of what was actually going on we are looking at a lot of pollinators on just one panel here correct whatever is behind the disappearance of millions of honeybees researchers are scrambling to discover it for the sake of people like Warren Seaver. I plan to build back up to about 250 colonies, but it's going to take me several years to, to reach that goal. And for a population hungry for a diverse diet. Mark Martin, CBN News, Newark in Little Creek, Delaware. 
You know, it's amazing. We talk about global warming. We think yeah. about Al Qaeda dropping a nuclear bomb, and a little simple thing like a honeybee disappearance could really devastate us. I know. What a fascinating story, yeah, well, and even the theories behind it. Yeah, you, I, I hadn't really heard about that before. I would have, I would have uh, opted for the uh, electromagnetic pulses that are in the air. They're all over the place, and I would think that would disorient. But they say no, that's not it. So, well, we, we've got to see. But they better find out the answer. Absolutely. And quick. Absolutely, Pat. Well,